page. Well, starting next week, you'll be able to vote on our website for your favorite nonprofit finalist and choose the winner in our community give back contest. We hope you'll vote and get all your friends to vote too. Well, iconic on-air radio tandems fill Charlotte's airwaves. Folks like Bob and Sherry, Ace and TJ, and John Boy and Billy, just to name a few. But only one husband and wife radio team exists, and that's Charlie and Debbie Nance. Carolina Impact's Jason Terzis shows us what life is like for them on air and at home. New 1037, Charlie and Debbie. So the people from PBS are in here right now doing some filming, and it it occurred to me what's missing. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. Charlie and Debbie hit the air, beginning their day with a little fun at our expense. How many times have we done those telethons for PBS and they have the banks of people with the phones taking donations? Wouldn't that be great if they were taking donations for us? Not for the station, for us. Working like three to seven afternoons on WSOC-FM, their show is a mix of country music and an ongoing conversation with listeners. It's been a while since we've had a good moral dilemma on the show to start things off. I got, we do. This one's a doozy coming from Norway in six minutes. But unlike other radio teams, these two don't head their separate ways when they get off the air. They head home together. Charlie and Debbie work as the only husband and wife radio tandem in Charlotte. Being a married couple of family going through the same things that other people are going through. Chances are, if it's happening to us, if we're arguing about it, if we're having a situation or, you know, whatever comes up, they've gone through it too. I've never won an argument in 22 years of doing this with her. Um, you know, I've never been right. That's true. <laughs> Everything else he said were lies, but that part's true. <laughs> He's never been right and everybody knows it. Charlie and Debbie met in 1992. He was a program director for a station in Waco, Texas. She applied for a job there. I started looking around the office and there was gumball machines and there was a backpack with fraternity letters embroidered on it. I'm like, who is this guy? <laughs> he comes in in a sweatshirt and a backwards hat and I'm like, what are we doing here? <laughs> I'm gonna work for this one. I hired her to work with a miserable person. Uh, and, and, and wasn't he? Yes. And the more and more time we spent together, of course, there were some little matchmakers in our office that worked with us that said, you know, we think y'all look really cute together. Y'all make a cute couple. And little did they know at the time we were already seeing each other. I'm like, really? You think so? After getting married in 1994 and leaving Texas, Charlie and Debbie worked in Tallahassee, Florida, Greenville, South Carolina, Augusta, Georgia, and Birmingham, Alabama, before finally settling in Charlotte. They just celebrated their 10th anniversary at WSOC at the end of March. If it happens in our personal life, we feel like it's happening to someone else or has happened to someone else, and it's very relatable, and that's one of the things that, uh, that I think makes you a successful personality on the radio is when people can identify with you. As you might imagine, being married while also working together requires a lot of patience and balance. Charlie handles the business side of Charlie and Debbie, from show prep to listener questions and themes, while Debbie handles the personal side of Charlie and Debbie at home, from cooking to paying the bills. I don't think Debbie enjoys diving into the show prep aspect of things as much as I do. And consequently, I don't like the nuts and bolts of real life. I don't want to know what he's found in his show prep before when he finds stuff and talk. We don't discuss it because he surprises me with it. Okay. He, he just, you know, throws it on me and gets my natural reaction. I make some sheets and I give them to her and, you know, she's like an editor of a newspaper or magazine. She goes, well, that's junk, that's junk, that's junk. Okay, that works, that's junk. But she handles everything in our personal life, she's really the glue of the family. You are so generous. I love you. That's great. I love you too, Miss Debbie, and I think you'd do the same thing. Yeah, I probably would. Awaiting Charlie and Debbie each night when they get home, their 14-year-old son, Hogan, and 10-year-old dog, Frisky. Charlie likes to joke that Hogan is thoroughly unimpressed with what his parents do for a living. It is very true. I just I find it funny how hard he works to do something as simple as talk. New 1037, we're Charlie and Debbie. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us. Well, the thing is, I never listened to them because I don't like country music. <laughs> At home, it's all family, whether it's a round of golf or just hanging out watching TV. Our working relationship, I think, is far more communicative than our personal relationship. Um, people always joke when you go home, what happens then? Do you just go your separate ways? And but it's kind of what happens. I think we get everything talked out while we're here. Everybody always asks us how we do it because they say, I could never spend that much time with my spouse. I could never do it. We'd kill each other. And I say, well, we would if I weren't a saint. But, you know, I am very tolerant. 
I put up with a lot of things that most of my friends say I could never do that, I could never deal with that for my husband. Some say life is all about balance, and Charlie and Debbie appear to have found the perfect mix. For Carolina Impact, I'm Jason Terzis reporting. Thanks, Jason. The Charlie and Debbie Show can be heard weekdays between 3 and 7 on 103.7 WSOC-FM. Well, there's so many.